This game and the stream broadcast rights to this game are the sole and exclusive property of the WPIAL. Any broadcast of this game is intended exclusively for the benefit of the North Catholic Sports Network audience. Any use, rebroadcast, or distribution of this broadcast without the express written consent of the WPIL is prohibited. High School Sports Network is the official video and audio streaming partner of the WPIAL. We broadcast over 2,000 sporting events each year and cover 17 sports in over 170 schools. At HSSN, you'll find the latest in high school sports news, live and archive broadcasts, scores, standings, and much more. Trib Live High School Sports Network, your high school sports leader. All season, every season. And we are broadcasting to you live from Thomas J. Burke Memorial Stadium at Montour High School for this Whippeo sem semifinal rivalry matchup between the defending Whippeo champion Avonworth Antelopes and your North Catholic Trojanettes. Folks, this is the seventh time these two teams have played each other in the last two seasons. They played two times in the regular season last year as a part of section play, and North Catholic won the first 4 to nothing and lost the second 2-1. to one. The next two of those previous six matchups were in the playoffs last year, with one being in the Whippeo Championship and with Averworth won in overtime 2-1, to one, and the second being in the state semifinals, where Averworth won by a score of 3 to nothing. Since then, North Catholic has lost seven of last year's seniors, with Averworth losing several as well. In this year's two section matchups, the Trojanettes won both by scores of 3 0 and 2 0, leaving the last six matchups over the last two seasons split at 3 3. And that brings us back to today, where we will see what the happens next in the next chapter of the saga of the 2 A Soccer Titans will hold. And we are proud to be broadcasting to you this game on the North Catholic Sports Network and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. My name is Alex Brown alongside Ryan Berry, and we'll be your narrators of this next clash of the 2 A girls soccer powerhouses. And these two teams, Ryan, have already played each other twice this year and what have you seen in those two games, and what do you expect to see tonight? Well, those have been two really good games. North Catholic won the first one 3 nothing at Avonworth. The second one, North won as well, 2 nothing at J.C. Stone Field. But those scores, although North Catholic shut them out and won those ones uh, by more than one goal, it, the score was not indicative of, the, of how those games went. Avonworth was able to get off to a really good start in those games, but just wasn't able to get them, uh, to score in those ones early. They had a lot of chances. Cooper and the Trojans' defense came out strong in those ones. And once North Catholic was able to get that first goal, they were able to take command of the game and really stem, uh, stem the attack of the Lady Lopes. But in this one, the key for North Catholic, again, is to score early. Uh, don't let Avonworth build up the early momentum and get those chances. Take a man right from the start. Get a goal in early. You're the one seed. You're, you're the favorite in this one. Show that you're better than them. And get a goal early. And for Avonworth, I don't think they're going to be held scoreless tonight. they got Fiona Mahan coming back from her injury for the playoff run. They've scored 10 goals and 6 goals in their two playoff games thus far. They are a dominant team. They, they can compete with anyone. This is a rivalry game. Man. It's going to be a great game in the playoff semifinals tonight. Uh, they're a really talented team, and North is a really talented team. This is going to be a great clash tonight in the Whitfield semifinals. It, what what a game this is going to be. I mean, we, these two teams played last year in the Whitfield Championship. North Catholic loses that one. They lose again to Avonworth in the state semifinals. They have that anger towards them. They have that. They know each other. They have that rivalry built up by that point. As they played each other four times last year, and the North Catholic circles those games on the schedule this year in the regular season, beats them both times, and then you see them again here in the Whippeal. <laughs> Yeah, but both teams obviously motivated. Of course, North Catholic lost last year in the championship. As you said, that's the motivation. Avonworth, they lost North Catholic two times this year. That's motivation for them. So this is going to be a great, great clash tonight. And if, and if the game before this is any indication of how 
uh, this this girls game will go. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a great game. It's Winchester Thurston won four to three in overtime against Swickley Academy, which was a, a great game. It was two to one, and then Winchester scored. Uh, Swickley tied it up to send it overtime. And that was a really really good game. So if uh, this game's any anything like that, we're in for a, a great game here tonight. And let's send it down to the field as we're gonna get ready for each team's starting lineups. Sophomore midfielder, Danny Mann. Heavenworth is coached by Jason Mann. And now for the home team, North Catholic. And the head coach, DJ Sharper. Here is your starting lineup. Number three, senior forward, Ricky Collins. Goalkeeper Riley Coomer. Yeah. Number six, Steve Forward, Ryan McDonald. Yeah. Number eight, sophomore defender, Mason Rodriguez. Yeah. Number nine, senior defender, Larry McKenzie. Number ten. And those are your starting lineups for both Avworth and North Catholic. 40 minutes, first half coming up momentarily. And there's some differences in both those starting lineups since the last time these two teams played, Ryan. Yeah, for Avonworth, Mina Syme, number 17, their second leading scorer, is not in the starting lineup. It looked like she, she was uh, limping a little bit in warm-ups on, on her, one of her ankles, it looked like, yep. it seemed. Uh, an injury. So that's something to uh, look at tonight, see if she maybe comes off the bench. North Catholic. Uh, Jillian Kennedy is not playing tonight for North Catholic. Neither is Kate Caldwell as they were transfers who came to North Catholic after the conclusion of last year's soccer season and by whip you'll rule they're not allowed to participate in playoffs this season 
And now let's look at how these two teams got here to the semifinals. North Catholic was the one seed. They took on number 16, Valley. Start off the Whitfield playoffs winning that one 5-1. to one. And the next one, they faced Beaver, who they sh who's been in close game throughout the year. And they won that one 2-1 to one in, a, in a close one. Avonworth, they won their first game 10 nothing against the 12 seed, Keystone Oaks. And then they beat 13 seed Hopewell 6-1 to one to advance to this point. So it's going to be a good one tonight against two teams that can score and play really good defense as well with two good goaltenders in Zimmerman and Coomer. Absolutely. And Coach Sharpless has led his brigade this far. Can he get them one step farther to the Whitfield Championship in his first year as North Catholic's head coach? And in the seventh matchup in the last two years between Avonworth and North Catholic, who will win next? We'll find out we're underway. North Catholic playing another far side, taking ahead, but stopped. Brittany Cullen up the far side. Simone Sharpless hit in front of Verostic. Verostic played off of her. Goes back to Cullen, who gets it. But it was turned over to Alexandra Na, who is on the far side. It goes off of North Catholic and out. And so he played in by Eden Shellis. Thrown in off of North Catholic. They'll get another shot. Waiting for a ball. I uh, expect this one to start a little slow, but nerves here in the semifinals for both these teams. So a lot of newcomers playing their first semifinal game and a lot on the line in this one. So some nerves to start. I think once teams settle in, you'll start to see a lot more offense. Just one senior in the starting lineup for Avonworth, th three for North Catholic. Big tumble there taken on the play from Lauren McDonald, who's still down. That is not a good sign for oh, the Trojans. Oh, man. And As the trainers to come on, that means that uh, she has to come off the field, and she's not moving much on there. It looks like maybe her – I don't want to guess, but she got tripped up maybe by her ankle. We'll see. And she's going to have to come off the field for a little bit of time here. That's North Catholic's leader. Committed to play soccer next year for Rhode Island. Scored the first goal in the first match between these two teams to really get things going after Avonworth had controlled most of the first half in that one. Really gave North Catholic momentum in the, in the first time they played. She gets up and walks off. A little gingerly, looks like. Good to see her walking off on her own power. Was a foul there on Avonworth. Will be a North Catholic kick at the 25-yard line. Looks like it's Simone Sharp that's taking that one. I can see that correctly. Yeah, that's that's the first scored on multiple. The playoff game against Valley, she had an unbelievable free kick shot, which is a laser top left above the goaltender. And she scored a free kick earlier in the year against Avonworth as well. From a similar distance. And here we go, about to get the kick going. As Lauren McDonald will have to stay out for a little bit, but she'll be back in shortly. She did. She was about ready to sub back in as soon as she got to the sideline. Oh, as it looks like she's running out. To she's running back out yeah. now. Here's the kick from Sharpless. From the 25 yard line, it is on net. It's and in! It's in! Simone Sharpless, you gotta be kidding! We're a minute and 14 seconds in. North Catholic up one nothing. She is unbelievable at those kicks. She hit one earlier in the year against Avonworth as well. Against Zimmerman. Perfectly placed top left over the hands of goaltender Zimmerman. And into the net. What a start for the Trojan Nets. As I thought this one was going to take a while to settle in, we got offense right away on a free kick from the 25-yard line for the Trojan Nets to start this one off. one nothing. Absolutely remarkable. 35-yard kick. North Catholic leads one nothing. And 
And there's Sharpless with it now. Lauren McDonald back on the field. That's great to see. Carsman now. Carsman gets around a, a defender. Kicks it up the sideline. Still go with it. Atworth kicks it out. Well, the Keefe North Catholic was to score first. And they did that. And now they take away all the momentum that Atworth had gotten uh, in those other games early in the games where they've controlled a lot of play early. North Catholic coming right out, getting an early goal, t trying to take command of this one early as they're now pressuring in the Avonworth end. Lauren Mealy kicked that one over towards the Avonworth sideline. Will be thrown in. Thrown into about the 45. Where it was headed away by, it looked like, Palladino. And North Catholic has it now. Verostic. Who got it to McDonald, who passed it back up to Carson, passed it over to Cullen, who had taken off of her, but Sharpless had it on the sideline, rolls off her foot, and now Avonworth gets it right back. Thrown in off of Brittany Cullen, played back by Verostic. Or it was kicked ahead by Lauren Mealy. Now Verostic over to Lauren McDonald. Lauren McDonald at the 20. Makes a move to the 15. Kick on goal. Zimmerman stops it. And gets ready to kick it out. Kick to about the 40. Played down by North Catholic. Sharpless. Passed it back, now it's gonna come right back towards them. All the way towards goaltender Riley Coomer, who scoops it up. That was kicked ahead. Might look like Emma Luther. Now on the far side, that's played directly out by Avonworth. North will get it at about the 10 yard line where Brittany Cullen will throw it in. Throws it right to Lauren McDonald. Lauren McDonald kicks it down the sideline, but it's going to roll out. Try to give a little give and go into the corner, but a little bit too strong. Out of bounds, North Catholic is having the majority of the pressure here in possession early on in this one, which is different than the other two times these teams have faced. Allenworth has really dominated uh, in the first 15 minutes in both those games. North Catholic trying to change the narrative in this one in their early going. Carried across the 50. Still going. Kick down the sideline looking for now. And try to look for a cross here. Kept in. Kicked across. Just misses. Riley Cooper really gets it. Really good look there. Good move. So we able to get that one across. They were looking for Caroline Sweeney. And it was just how to Swe Sweeney's uh, reach there looked. Like she had maybe had a play of the ball, but it just rolled by her. And a great play though by Catherine Petrina, working this near sideline. Almost got that connection right in front of goaltender Riley Coomer, but she got it. You're doing a good job spawning these numbers, Alex. It's kind of tough from way up here. We have a high <laughs> perch here. But great press box here at Montour, great field. We got yours, and this will be thrown in by Morgan Schlegel here at the 40. She is one of the best, the furthest and strongest throw-ins that I've seen as, since I've been watching soccer. She, she can throw the thing about 20 yards, maybe more. That one's kicked ahead down the far sideline by Avonworth. Play there, defended by Diglo. Still there, kicked out. In both times these teams play, the Trojans' defense has been the strong so they will shut down the Avonworth attack with really strong defense, not allowing them to get inside the box very often and, and forcing them to have go crosses without being able to dribble it into the box or taking a shot. And so far tonight, they've done a good job preventing that uh, as they're forcing Avonworth to the outside. Throw it in. Down to about the goal line, still played inbounds. Kicked across to the middle. Coomer kicks it out, ran to a defender. That was Schlegel, still right there by the goal line. I don't know if it's slowed down a little bit. Now they're generating some offense. And that ball rolls out at about the 12-yard line.
thrown in. Still played along the line. Now they get to throw it in again. Out to about the 10. Kicked out by Mealy, and it goes to the 40 where it's kicked deep by Eden Shellis. And it'll still be Adamworth Balls. It goes off of Schlegel and out. That's kicked across off of Mealy. Still there at about the 10. Kicked towards the middle of the field and kicked out by North Catholic. North Catholic really is an advantage in the box as Almworth has three defenders up at midfield. North Catholic only has one attacker up by midfield, so they have the numbers inside the box because they have a lot of people back on D, kind of packing the inside of the boxes. Almworth has a chance here. On side, still maintaining it, kicked out to safety. The ball got around Coomer, uh, and it was sa saved a goal. Uh, Lauren Mealy. Yeah, Lauren Mealy saved a goal there as the Avonworth forward was tracking that one down. They were to kick it out of harm's way. It looked like it was a halted play because they were waiting for that ball to be onside. Mm -hmm. But a great play there by Sweeney. On Avonworth, that is a second time we've called her name tonight for a, a pretty good offensive opportunity. The first one, she didn't get the ball. That was knocked down, kicked towards the middle by Schlegel. It's still played by Avonworth, but it goes out wide to the left. You feel the momentum the turning a little bit to Avonworth's side as they've generated the, a lot of possession and offense over the last six minutes as North Catholic was pretty dominant in the, in the first, first uh, I'd say, five minutes in this one. Riley Cooper kicks this one out to the 40, goes off a of Sharpless, Lauren McDonald now plays it back to Verostic, who gets it to Sharpless, who kicks it across, looking for McDonald. Now in Avonworth territory, McDonald gets it, knocks it down, still chasing after it, goes off of Avonworth, and it will be North Catholic ball about five yards into the end zone. And Morgan Schlegel will run all the way across the field to throw this ball in. Schlegel throws it in. That one almost tore right in front of the net. Sharpless shot stopped by Zimmerman. So we're just about 10 minutes into this one. 30 minutes and about 15 seconds remaining in the first half. And it's been pretty back and forth in this one so far. North Catholic controlled about the first half so far in play. Now Alvin has controlled the second half of these first 10 minutes. Hit across North by. Catholic has the one nothing lead though. Yeah. Petrina turned it over there. Now North Catholic gets it. Forced turnover by Avonworth. Now played back to Glow. Gets it back to Riley Coomer, who kicks it up. Nice play there to keep that one. Ahead by Carly Rivetti. Now Avonworth has it on the far sideline. Tight defense there. It's centered towards the middle. Kicked out by Alessandra Deglo. Who's getting one of her first starts of the year. Yep. And getting it in a big moment. She's been starting all playoffs. Now down about the back line of the end zone. Goes out. It's going to be a throw in. Worth ball. Still a throw. Not a corner. Throw in. About as close as you get to not being a corner. <laughs> yeah, it is. Thrown straight down. In front of her teammate over to now center towards the middle. North Sweeney Catholic was again, there. Showing the good de defense in the box as they are really getting up whatever, wherever the ball goes, trying to make a two-on-one, three-on-one on the ball carrier so they're not able to get a shot, a shot off which has really, really worked throughout the year. Laura McDonald still has it, crossing the 30, now over to the 20, 15, still has it on her foot. Now kicks it, it's blocked, back to the 25 she goes when she gets it to Verostic. McDonald knocked down on the play, she gets back up. 
Carsman a shot from the 30. Cut by Zimmerman. Really good shot there by Carsman as that one tracks all the way in the air to Zimmerman. And on that, that's a great shot from 40 yards. Smart shot as well. Zimmerman letting that early one, maybe a little bit shaky, but she made a good save there on Carsman. Now Lily Carsman gets it back. Gets it across to Brittany Cullen. Brittany Cullen now at the 35. Plays it back to Carsman. Carsman hits it along further. No one quite home for that one. As Atworth will let that one roll out the back. And I'll go over to goaltender Zimmerman, who will kick this one out. With 27 minutes and 30 seconds left to go here in half number one. A turnover there. McDonald has her shot blocked, and it gets cleared out to the 30 by Avonworth. Now Lily Carsman stopped that rush by Avonworth, kicked to McDonald. Carsman follows the play, and a whistle blows, and it's a foul on her. Aggressive play by Lily Carsman. This is a rather good one. It's going to yeah. be chippy. Nothing wrong with that play. Nothing wrong with a little aggression there. Forced a turnover. Yeah. Look at that. Look at Sharpless rushing that decision. Now over here on the far side, carried out by Avonworth. Kicked away there by Deglo, and it goes out. Thrown in here on the near sideline. Goes off of Schlegel. Throw back in. Now that one goes out this time. Off of Carly Rivetti. Throw it in for a third time. That time it's kicked out by Schlegel. Out to the 40 where McDonald chips it nicely over to Sharpless. Sharpless with a little bit of room. Just not enough on that one to get to Laura McDonald. Wow, Zimmerman playing aggressive there, going all the way, to, way out to the very top of the box to be able to scoop that one up. If that pass may have been a little bit more center, Laura McDonald has the speed, the breakaway speed. that She maybe could have had a breakaway there. You're right. Hard Ours. to get that pass perfect, though. Good play there by Brittany Cullen. Hits it down the Avworth sideline, and Avworth will get it at about the 10-yard line. Thrown in. Verostic in pressure, forces a turnover. Kathleen Verostic gets it over to Cullen. Cullen tries to center it across. It's off of Avonworth. It'll be a corner. It'll be a corner kick. Simone Sharpless goes over to take it. And this has really been a... Every five minutes, these teams seem to be switching who is the advantage. Uh, the first five minutes, North Catholic had a lot of chances, and they were able to get that goal. Out next five minutes, Avonworth had a lot of chances, a couple good crosses. Weren't able to score, but now North Catholic the last uh, five minutes. As now we have 20 five minutes remaining in the first half has been able to take, There's take a man offensively again. The kick, Zimmerman gets it. Elena Zimmerman with a little bit of confidence now. Making her last four stops. After giving up a goal in the first shot she faced from Simone Sharpless. We're under 25 minutes now. Here in half number one. Avonworth playing catch with it in their own defensive end. Turnover there off the attempted breakout pass. Now, Lauren McDonald has it across off of Petrina. Petrina's now going to get it back, trying to kick it ahead towards Sweeney. Schlegel got there first. Kick to about the 25. Now, where Alexandra Nall played it. Now it's played back from Sweeney. And it will be Avonworth ball. As it went off of Lauren McDonald. That's thrown in. And they'll go off of Schlegel, and they'll play it from the 50 now. Thrown in again by Alessia Palladino. And that one's kicked out by Lauren Mealy. Lauren Mealy looking for Lauren McDonald. Lauren McDonald has it on her foot. 
passes it back to Schlegel. Schlegel from the 50, makes a nice move, still maintains possession, but now knocked off of it. And the ball go back down to North Catholic 20. Diglo passes it back where it's kicked out by Coomer to the 50. Great kick by Riley Coomer. And now Sharpless. They have a chance here. Sharpless can get around the defender. Really nicely played there. Shielding the ball away from Sharpless. Sharpless. Avonworth defender. Still working it on the far sideline. Whistle blows. It's Avonworth ball. Great defense. Excellent defense there. That's Tess Papas who works that sideline. Greta O'Brien mostly veers towards the middle and here on the near side is more Eden Shellis. Might a chance for a turnover. Really good play there by Sharpless. Looking for McDonald, trying to feed it through the middle. It was played nicely by Avonworth. Kicked across the middle, looking way on the far side for Petrina. It didn't get to her, but now it's going to end up being chipped up in that direction. It'll be off of Avonworth from that kick across. It'll be North Catholic ball. Schlegel throws it over. Oh, a risky play there from Laura Mealy as just had to get it off her foot. Thrown in. That one's hit across by Palladino. Looking on the far side, just out of the reach of the Avonworth forward. A hearty kick on that from Riley Coomer. Goes to the 50. Where it's played in front. Kick to the far side, now on the far sideline. Nice play there to intercept that by North Catholic. Now kicked ahead by Sharpless, looking for McDonald. Nice defense as she was double teamed going down the field, but it'll be North Catholic ball as it's kicked out at about the 25 yard line. This will be thrown in by L. McKenzie. McKenzie, that one's kicked across, looking for McDonald. Didn't quite get to her. Sharpless now. Over to Karsman. Karsman knocked down. It is called. And that's called. <laughs> Kick for North Catholic. Simone Sharpless will take this one. Or maybe not. Oh, she's going to take this. She throws a, a hair tie <laughs> over to the sideline. <laughs> was, this is five yards further back from where she scored her free kick as North Catholic is up 1 0 in this one. About 20 minutes remaining in the first half of play. Here we go. Simone Sharpless from 40 yards. The kick. It's on goal just a little bit high. Off the crossbar. Out of it on net from the 35, maybe even the 40. Off, <laughs> yeah, off the crossbar of the field goal uprights that just rest above the soccer net. Sharpless gets that one off the turnover by Zimmerman. Now McDonald plays it on goal. It squeaks just wide. Wow. Oh, my. Zimmerman was able to get an elbow on it, but it squeaked by through her and just dribbled left. Of the left post, it will be a North Catholic corner kick. North Catholic able to take control play again. Adorns had a little spurt with a lot of chances. Uh, really good crosses, unable to convert. North Catholic now putting the pressure back on, trying to get that two-goal lead. Chance here at the corner. The kick from Sharpless. Kicked way across. Played there by McDonald. Hit in front. But it's played out. It'll be North Catholic ball at about the 10-yard line. Thrown in and kicked on goal. Just over the net. North Catholic generating chances, getting shots, not afraid to shoot from anywhere. That looked like that was Carly Rivetti on that kick. She's done a really good job throughout the, uh, in both games against that. We're shadowing uh, the, best player. The, pe the best threats or offensive threats in both teams. And this one, it's Fiona. The Mah first game was Fiona uh, Mahan. And the second game, it, it was, was, it was uh, Mina Syme. Mina Syme, yep. 
Deglo kicks that one deeper into Avworth territory. Sharpless chips that one over to the flag on the far side of the field where it will be Avworth ball. Thrown in there by Avworth, but it's turned right over. Kick towards the goal. Goes off to Zimmerman. They're going to get a corner kick out she of this. She did not need to touch that one. As nope. it would have been a goal kick, I believe. And that, was it deflected originally off of Avonworth? Or was it just a it shot? It was just a shot on goal. It would have been a goalie kick, but then she touches it. Now it's a corner kick with 17.30 to go here at half number one. Simone Sharpless. Avonworth, if that ball had went by, it would have been a goal kick for, for Zimmerman. There's the kick. Goes beyond the net, headed out by Avonworth, and kicked out. Furthermore, to about the 35, they might even let them throw it in towards the 30, where it went out of bounds. L. McKenzie throws it. Verostic. McDonald got a foot on that one, goes towards Zimmerman, where she will scoop that one up. And kick that one out. I was waiting for that one. Verostic from the 35, plays it down towards McDonald. McDonald now at about the goal line. Cuts across now. Still has possession of it. A shot of goal. Oh, and it's just, just wide. wide. The last six minutes of play, it's been all North Catholic. I don't think the ball has gone past midfield in the last six or so minutes of play. A lot of chances, a couple of shots just going wide. Another one there for McDonald. Suffocating offensive attack here for North Catholic. Avworth plays it at their own 20, kicked across to about the 50, where it's knocked down by Lauren Mealy, and North Catholic will pay, maintain possession even more so. Now Verostic in the middle of the field, still battling for that one, kicked back and kicked out by Avonworth. And that'll go off of El McKenzie and out. On that far sideline, Avonworth kicks it over towards the middle of the field. Where Alexandra now had it taken away from her by Karsman. Now on the far side, it's kicked up to Laura McDonald. Laura McDonald kicks that one looking for Sharpless. Headed down in the middle of the field. Now played by Emma Luther. Emma Luther in the middle of the field. Hit it right to Morgan Schlegel who kicks it over across Cross field that was knocked down by Avonworth. Now Lauren Mealy takes that one away and kicks it down, looking for Lauren McDonald, who's an all-out spread. Really good stretch she, pass there. She gets to the ball first. McDonald up the goal line. Good play there by the defender for Avonworth. A couple of times, uh, Lauren McDonald has tried to cut in around the 10-yard line and get a shot off with her left foot. She has a good shot on, on, on both her feet there. Yep. Uh, good play to pinch that one off was a pop -offs. Yep. That's McKenzie, a shot. Just goes wide. Found will be a goal kick for the Lopes. L. McKenzie, Brittany Cullen, and Laura McDonald, the three seniors on North Catholic's roster this year, have been incredible in the face of a new coach now. in Coach Sharpless. And losing seven seniors, we were thinking at the beginning of this year as Avonworth plays it further ahead, it's gonna get towards Coomer. She's gonna have to come out and play it. Gets it, rebound still there, Sweeney. Kicked away by Coomer. Unbelievable oh, the play. play there by Riley Coomer. As Sweeney had a chance to take a shot there. And Sweeney's down. Sweeney's down, Riley. Heavens. Coomer is down as oh, well. Too, she my looked, goodness. If she had that ball, might have hit a little bit of ankle, and that might have banged up both parties involved in that one, as that was an unbelievable play. As Sweeney looks like she may have had a a great chance at a goal. She did have a great chance at a goal. And Riley Coomer took it away with a great sliding effort. 
to poke that ball away as we have 13 minutes and 47 seconds remaining. And the first time I've played North Catholic of one nothing. Sweeney is still down. And she's going to have to come out of the play. As both teams go to their benches to reset. 13.47 to go here in half one. Caroline Sweeney, the junior forward. Has, she's had multiple chances in this one. She's, she's, she's been, been really a, good. The best threat really offensively really so good. far for Avonworth. Hey, you know his name we haven't called it virtually at all tonight? Fiona Mahan. Carly Reddy is playing really good defense on her. As she's, she's been her shadow in the games that she's played against North Catholic. She's done a great job at that, uh, as Carly Rivetti. And North Catholic up one nothing in this one. Multiple opportunities for both teams in this one as Caroline Sweeney is able to walk off the field right now. A little bit of a hobble, but under her own power, which is great to see. And she's – hopefully we, we see her back. In that collision with Coomer, it's a possibility that she could have been spiked in a way, maybe rolled her ankle on that far side as Coomer was looking to kick that one out in any way she could. And she slid to get it, cleats up. We'll see, um, maybe she got a piece of Sweeney, obviously unintentionally. And if she is seriously injured. That is a big loss for her afterward. She's a she's good offensive threat, has had a lot of chances in this one. She's that inside presence where she's been able to penetrate a, a couple times. North Catholic, the box, uh, she's had to take on a lot of uh, 3v1s, 4v1s in, the, in that box, but she's able to win a couple of those battles and get some chances. Uh, and it looked like could have been a goal there, but if not it for Coomer close. making a great diving effort, uh, to poke that ball between the legs of Sweeney and out of bounds. And Sweeney laboring on her is left it leg. The North Gothic throw. And uh, I she, think it would be. She get some attention over there. It's gonna. It should be Avonworth ball. We'll see. And it should be a throw in at about. I would say, close to the five ten yard line. Down there. And Avonworth re with a renewed focus. Both teams with a renewed focus. Avonworth. Hopefully looking to build off that last scoring opportunity as they're going to get it from about the end zone line. Thrown in there. Play along the goal line, kicked out towards the front and kicked out by Deglo to about the 10. And oh, nice and they call do there call it. Wow, for Rostick. That could have gone either way. It's 50-50 if that could have been called or not, but they didn't say. For Rostick looked like she was spun yeah, out there. A little bit too much contact on the legs. It's what do you think? Well, they, I think they, they reversed gone either it. Way. And now it's on North Catholic. It is on Rostick. Wow. Said it could have gone either way. It's 50-50. It looked like originally they had called it on Avonworth. But now it's reversed and a good chance here. And Coach, Avonworth will get a direct kick. Coach Sharpless was not too happy with that. He was going out towards the, the field. Direct kick from the 13. Zavonworth will try to get numbers inside of the box here. Maybe try to get ahead on this one. Adamworth has yet to score a goal against North Catholic. They have a chance here. Here's the kick. Blocked by the North Catholic center there. They had four girls clumped up there at about the five where it was blocked and out played up here by North Catholic. Wow, North Catholic defense built a wall there. It was able to block that shot before if it could even get anywhere near. Goaltender Coomer now some momentum, a little bit of energy. Rivetti, North Catholic. Rivetti forced a turnover. Sharpless hits it across and now carried up here. Carried across the 20. Now down to the 15 to the 10. Still... North Catholic possession. Spun around Good there. Good defense there by a, a gang of Avonworth defenders. Not allowing Lord McDonald to be able to get a shot off there. Great rush there by Lord McDonald. Now Zimmerman. Oh, that wasn't McDonald at all. Was that not McDonald? That was not. That was that wasn't McDonald at all. That was came from the back. 
the backfield and uh, Riley, uh, Lily Carsman forced turnover there, went right back and now played up. Taking in North Catholic territory. Laura Mealy. A little bit more physical here. Laura Mealy with some physicality there. Now played up and played out by Deglo. Still there, though. Now trying to further down towards the front. Mealy trying to get a foot on it. It goes towards Coomer and she scoops it up. Adamworth being able to get some chances again. Getting a little bit of momentum. As we have 11 minutes left here in the first half of play. Emma Luther knocks that one down. And kicked out by Elle McKenzie. McKenzie's kick rolls past the 20, past the 10, to about the three where it's played by Avonworth. Knocked down by Verostic. Headed out, I should say, at about the 25. They'll play to the 30. Where it's thrown in. And kicked further, but it's going to go out. It'll be North Catholic possession now at about the 50-yard line. Thrown in here by Al McKenzie. McKenzie. Nice body positioning there by North Catholic. Now cutting across the field, still having possession of it. Gets played back out now. Avworth has it. Kicked across to... to Catherine Petrina. Petrina now down low. Nice move there. Along the end line. Blocked it out. And it'll be a corner kick upcoming. Rivetti with the block. First corner of the night for Avonworth. They've been generating some momentum over the last five minutes. Now the Great opportunity here. Try to get something past Coomer. Kicked in front. Another opportunity blocked down. And it looked like they had a chance coming across to head that one. And it looked like it just flew by. The Avonworth forward. I don't want to see exactly that number right now. And yeah, from about the 15 now. Avonworth will get it. As sharp brought my binoculars. I know. Next. <laughs> from up at this high. I have to, but it's a great Ooh. spot here. Coomer falls down there after that. I think that's purposeful. I think she just wanted to make sure the sure chance of her that. dropping that one. Okay. <laughs> Riley Coomer, great kick. Gets across the 50. Laura McDonald's going to be able to play that one on one hop at the 35. She might be able to get this one before it goes out of bounds. She saw the speed. She, she stops it. She's knocked down. And they do call it a goal kick. North Catholic will sub here. As coming out was Riley Rocon, and she had some amazing plays. Remember that one time, Ryan? Was that that, that, that came girl in? came. That, that we were talking. There was a North Catholic player that went down the field there, and we thought it was Lord McDonald. That was Riley Rocon. Oh, that nice play down. Was the that Brittany Cullen who checked in? It was. Right. That one was out. Morgan Schlegel here, right by our cameraman, a phenomenal cameraman, Patrick Sharp, with that view there. And it is a corner. Is corner that one kick. Hit off Avonworth and went way out. Around the 10 and just took a sh shot out. Weird carom. North Catholic is going to get another opportunity here with 7.30. To go here in half number one. They, Simone honestly, they haven't been very close in any of their corners. Let's see if they can switch that up here. Sharpless's kick right towards the middle. Off it's the, on the crossbar. crossbar. It cleared out. North Catholic, they, they were close on that one. Got a really good chance. And now they do call a foul on North Catholic, a trip. That's on for Ostick. An opportunity that just slides by for the Trojanettes. That one hits the bottom of the crossbar. As now we have about six minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the first half of play. This has been an action-packed first half. A lot of chances for both teams. North Catholic is able to get that one by in the opening, opening, I think, second minute in, or a minute 47 in or something like that. 
a minute 14 in. <laughs> on, on a Sharpless. free kick Incredible. by Simone Sharpless. But a lot of chance for both teams since then. Carly Rivetti was brushed off there as it was hit down. By Mahat. This will be thrown in. And it'll be kicked right back out by North Catholic. As Pelladino will get another opportunity to throw this one in. And that one goes off of Avonworth. And North Catholic will get this. As Caroline Sweeney is back in the game, which is good to see. Sweeney now chasing that one. She blocks it. She's going to go chase after it. Sweeney now at about the 10. Curls in front. No one was there except North Catholic. Ali Diglow. And now taken up here by North Catholic. Kicked ahead looking for McDonald. Was Carsman's pass. McDonald Bridges still has a chance it. Here. McDonald at about the 10. Stop. Starts. Griffin at Papas to get back into play there. McDonald still has it though. Crosses in front. Kick. Blocked by Avonworth. McDonald gets it back. And it'll be cleared out to about the 35. Where it'll be Avonworth possession as El McKenzie stepped up on that one to make that kick cleared out to about midfield by North Catholic now Simone Sharpless in a hot pursuit here but Avonworth was able to get it across midfield and played further where it was knocked down by Deglo. Deglo knocked down, but she made the play. Whistle blows on a delayed foul call. As North Catholic will get a little bit of time to here to reset with four, with a couple ticks over four minutes to go here in half number one. Kicked out by Carsman. Returned here by Avonworth to about the 35 where it's kicked deep into North Catholic territory. Deglo oh, knocked off the ball. I don't believe that should be a foul. That's not a foul team. at all, and they call it anyway. It looked like both both players were fighting for possession. The ball contact both ways. They do call it on North Catholic. And it is outside of the box. Fortunately for North Catholic, if it's inside the box, it is a penalty kick. Fiona Mahan is on the kick, Ryan. So look out here. She was the one that drew the foul on Allie Deglow. The last free kick for Avon North, North Catholic's wall of defenders was able to block it. Got to make sure goaltender Coomer still has a vision of the ball. Uh, that's tough. And you can tell from the angle that's on the screen right now that she does. And she makes the stop. What a save by Coomer. Now, that yeah, was caught perfectly on a great camera work there by uh, Patrick Sharp down by the field. As you can see, that ball uh, coming right through the gap of that wall, right to the left of it. And Coomer tracks the ball perfectly and makes a diving save. Keep North Catholic up 1 nothing as we creep down towards the end of this half. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Patrick Sharp is our cameraman at field level. And the shot you're looking at right now is by Alex Jackson, who's up, uh, up by us here in the press box. Tremendous, tremendous work. We have the best crew in the business. And uh, our, our thrill and honor to bring you this game tonight as we're down to 2.15 to go here in half one. Avonworth has it in positive territory. Nice defense there by North Catholic. Now take it up here down the near sideline by Carsman. Got it across the field. It was kicked back by Avonworth. And now Laura Mealy will have to play it at her own 10. She's going to kick it far down the sideline area, but not inbounds, though, nicely. And Avonworth might be forced to play this one out. What defense there on that sideline by North Catholic? Al McKenzie throws that one in. 
still there on that sideline where Atforth will now play with it, less than a minute, 30 to go. And now across the 20, there's the kick on goal. It's high and a little bit really wide. Really good strike there. Number three, I couldn't, was that? Yeah, good. Could be number three, Megan Michalowski. Less than a minute remaining. I can tell for sure the number, that was a really good strike and it just went over the goal box. Riley Coomer gets that one out to about the 40, where Karsman Down to 45 seconds remaining in this one, in the first half, not in the game. <laughs> And Kathleen Verostic knocked down, no call. Avworth now has it in North Catholic territory. Now, Verostic forced a turnover. She is a gritty player. Made a lot of great plays tonight. Has Verostic now kicked ahead here by Avworth and kicked right back by Lauren Mealy. And it'll be out of bounds at about the 25 yard line, less than 20 seconds to go. This will be thrown in by Paladino. Paladino goes off of Ten her teammates. Ten seconds remaining. It's the clock will just run on the first half with North Catholic being up one to nothing. Off of a great free kick, about 35 yards out from Simone Sharpless in the second minute of play in this one. Incredible. It's been a back and forth affair. I'd say North Catholic had a slight edge in that half, but both teams creating chances. Uh, North Catholic almost capitalized to make a two nothing game on a corner kick with about five minutes remaining. I just went off the crossbar. A uh, couple of free kicks Adamworth has had. So some chances for Adamworth as well. A couple good crosses. Yep. A couple great crosses. A one and amazing just save connected on a by Riley Coomer on Caroline Sweeney. Uh, and I don't know if it's there. even going to count as two. a save, but it's a great defensive play. She was able to poke the ball away from Sweeney. And so it looked like Sweeney was able to was going to be able to put that one past her. But it keeps North Catholic up one nothing and keeps Adamworth scoreless. The halftime score after the first matchup was what, Ryan? I believe it was one nothing. one nothing After the second matchup, one nothing, And after the third matchup here tonight, one nothing, so. And North Catholic leads. And you know what happened to those other two games? North Catholic won. North Catholic won. Let's see what happens. We'll have all the action for you as we be back on the air in about another six minutes or so as we'll get you set for the second half. Until then, get a snack, go to the bathroom, get a and we'll talk to you in a little bit.
And we are back getting ready to start our second half coverage. But first, Ryan, let's talk a little bit more about the first half. We'll recap it again. Uh, as we had our first goal, a minute 14 seconds into the game. Well, I said the key for this one for North is to score first. They did that, but they not only did that, they, they called it to second half with my key, which was score early to prevent Adam from getting that early momentum like they yeah. have been in those other games. In the, in the other games that these two teams have played, They've been able to, Adam has been able to control early, get a lot of chances, and he just thought maybe if that, if that happened again tonight, they would be able to get that early goal to get that lead and put North Catholic on their heels. But North Catholic came out early uh, and got that great uh, uh, drawn penalty by Lauren McDonald. Then Simone Charles took advantage yep. with a great free kick from 25 yard line, 35 yards out over goaltender Zimmerman. That one got, every, got the party started, but then both teams settled in, a lot of chances on both sides. I say North Catholic had the slight edge. In, in that half, but Adamworth had their fair share of chances as well. Uh, Riley Coomer came up, come up big a couple of times in that half with some nice saves and some good defense for the Trojans and Adamworth as well. Uh, Lauren McDonald a couple of times, it looked like she may get the edge. It was been closed off, closed off fast by the Adamworth defense. Uh, both teams really uh, playing stifling defense, not allowing that many uh, really good chances. It's been a lot of chances, but not like those really, really good scoring chances that we saw a lot at the start of this game. Both teams have settled down. It's got, I think it's going to be more of the same in the second half. I, I think this one's going to end probably a 2-1 two -one, two -one final. 2-1 final, you calling it now? We'll see what happens here. It's both, every matchup has been very impressive between these two teams. And North Catholic, they won the first set. Uh, the girls' volleyball team won their first set in their Whippeal semifinal matchup against Thomas Jefferson tonight. And uh, they're playing down at Gateway. 40 minutes to running in the semifinal game. This is going to be a great half. Both teams playing for their season. And through five halves that these two teams have played this year, Abworth has still not scored a goal. And North Catholic has scored six. Simone Sharpless standing at midfield. 40 minutes remain between North Catholic finding themselves in the championship again. Just like last year, trying to avenge last year's championship loss and Avalor trying to get there again and win again. Trying to go back to back. Will they? We will find out. Second half underway. That ball gets right behind the defender. And they'll have to kick it out. North Catholic will get an early throw from about the 25-yard line. I really like that play. Uh, win it, winning it back, obviously. Uh, they started with the ball there and just sending it deep. Getting the ball deep in Avonworth territory. Trying to get momentum. Be able to create a turnover. And now Avonworth gets it back here in a throw in around the 30-yard line. Thrown in, crossing the 50, midfield, Lauren Mealy kicks that one deep. Stepping on that one is Avworth. Lauren McDonald got a foot on that one. Almost forced a turnover, but Avworth was able to regain possession of it, and it goes out to the 40, where it's kicked deep here. And now maintaining possession of it, down the sideline is Brittany Cullen off of the defender on the play. And North Catholic gets it. In positive territory. Cullen, that one goes off of her. Good defense on the play. By Avaworth. And that throw gets to the 30, where it's played up by Karsman. And you know, Avaworth is going to come hard. They don't want their season to end here. Not They're at all. They're trying to get one early. Take the pressure off a little bit. Play a little. It's all this nerve wracking. Catch there at the, uh, between the 40s. When it's tied up rather than down one. Absolutely. You don't have the thought of needing to get one. You can, you can more, I guess, instead of trying to play super aggressive, try to take advantage of every opportunity, you can now just let the game come to you if it's tied. But obviously, Avonworth has to play aggressive. They're down one. They got to get chances. L. McKenzie throws it over to Cullen. McKenzie's kick is. Uh, they call it out of bounds. So out of bounds. Avonworth throw. Now, 
Not a lot of success early in this half on this sideline for North Catholic. Off the throw ends. And that one's kicked deep by North Catholic. Now way down by the 10 yard line, Abworth finally gets a little comfort as that one's kicked way out by Eden Shellis who's over there. Battle here at the 20, goes off of Rivetti. Rivetti's gonna have to come back and play this one, but Abworth gets the better hit on it. And that will rule out at about the 25 of North Catholic. And they'll be played by North Catholic as they got possession of it. And Sharpless's kick. Bounces at the 10. Zimmerman comes out to play. McDonald's chasing. And Zimmerman gets it first. Zimmerman rolls it. Near sideline where it's kicked up. Kicked back and now kicked further again. Here by Tess Papas. Who's over on this side. And that one goes off of Lord Mealy at the 40. Mealy kicks it over to the far sideline. That's fighting to stay in bounds. It will stay in bounds. Abworth kicks it to about the 20. Deglo has it past her. A lot of contact there. Abworth free kick around the 20 yard line. As it looked like Sweeney ran into Deglo. Definitely a foul. And now here is the kick by Mahan. It is in. Fiona Mahan. The leader of this Adamwood team offensively. It's just fitting that she's the one that knots this one up and one with a beautiful free kick. 30 yards out. Over Coomers. Jumping and reaching arms there. Perfectly placed. Could not have put the one in a better spot. As this one is now dotted up and one. And this one's going to be a fun second half as we have 35 minutes and 48 seconds remaining in this one. It's going to be a fun second half. Riley Wacone checks in for Brittany Cullen. Now, Adamworth does not have to force things as much. Wacone, they're on the pressure. It's now tied up. They have the momentum. North Catholic's going to try to create chances here to stem the momentum that Adamworth has just gained from that goal. It's a game of possession. At this point, especially with this high of stakes, and whoever gets the lead next is going to sit on it probably. Carsman's shot on goal. Gobbled up by Zimmerman. Two free kicks have been the goals in this game, Alex. And that shows just the accuracy, the precision, and the skill of both Fiona Maha, who's only, she's only a sophomore, and then Simone Sharpless, freshman for North Catholic. And it just shows that how good these teams are playing defense as well. It as, is. as neither goal has been scored uh there's just normal plays. It's been through it's been through free kicks and both teams have been playing great defense and you can't make mistakes. You can't take those penalties. Cause you know each team can capitalize on them. And that is Adam with his first goal scored against North Catholic this year. Kicked Took out over to five halves, but yeah, they finally got halves. it. And nice defense there by Riley Wacone. On that play, Abworth does get possession of it. So the volleyball team North for North Catholic is won the second set as well. And now are they're up six to one in the third set. And now here on the near sideline. Kicked across. Knocked down by Sweeney. Sweeney. Now played here in the middle. Knocked down was Rivetti. Still battle for it. It's going to go out, and it's still going to be Avonworth possession.
Battle for it there. Babuski won that one back. And now Luther kicks that one towards the middle of the field. Sweeney still chasing it. Sw off of Sweeney. And out. And it'll be goalie kick for Riley Coomer. Avworth, they're starting to feel the they're crowd here the a momentum. bit. Yep. Cindy Sweeney, a great play. They'd be able to even get to that ball and get it, create another chance. She's been a factor in this one. She certainly has. There's Caroline Sweeney again. Grace is the top of her head, chases that one. Her and DeGlo get into a collision. No whistle. And now played down at the 25-yard line, Avonworth. Laura McDonald chasing. And that now one. That going to be an Avonworth throw, I believe. Yep. Avonworth possession. The defender smartly kicks it off of McDonald. Not a bounce. Laura McDonald is so good. So much, so fast. And is in the middle of every play that happens on Avonworth's side of the field. Uh, now that one's kicked up here by Avonworth. Played across, looking for Rocone. And there's a little bit of a collision there. Now Babuski here on the near side. Babuski trying to get around McKenzie. Played her teammate who's right there. Now in and across to the 20. Nice D there by Verostic. Still there. Mahan kicks it. Might have gone goal kick. off of Rivetti. Goal kick. It is, it is a goal kick. I thought it would offer Rivetti from up here, but I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to tell the official what it was. I thought it was just kicks a little weirdly off of, of uh, off Mahan. Shoe. Riley Coomer belts that one. Right to Riley Raccoon, who has it taken away from her. And now looking for Gianna Babuski on the play. Babuski still in the middle of that one. Nice play there. By Raccoon to kick that one down the sideline. It's going to be played further by now. Still there. Kick deep. Down towards the corner. Kept in. And out off of North Catholic. Will be a throw in. Great play by Gianna Babuski. It will be a throw in. Thrown into Babuski. Kicked in front. North Catholic's got to try to find a way to get some momentum back. Get some pressure on Adelworth's end. Adelworth is all the momentum in their direction right now. Only seems like a matter of time if this pressure keeps up that Adelworth could find another one. Lauren Mealy was one that As cleared that down one. 30 minutes remaining. Yep. In the second half, tied up one to one. The Whitfield semifinal matchup between these two uh, Titans and rivals as well. Sharpless. Oh, and a collision there. Knocked out McDonald. Now Sharpless taken down. And Here's a whistle. Call something. No. Oh, Everworth ball. Was worried that ref ran more fast. Was worried about it maybe being a card, but it is not. Luckily, for the Trojans, the sharpest can stay in this game. Avonworth being very physical. Maybe North Catholic getting a little frustrated. Really good student showing tonight for Avonworth. Is they're creating some momentum and energy for the team as well. Riley Coomer's kick. Gets across the 40, across the 50. Or it's played forward. Petrina. Running with that one across the far side. Great D by Karsman. Gets that one off her foot. It will be thrown in. Nice play to step up there on the far sideline. Looked to be by Schlegel over there. And now it's still in North Catholic end. They do get it cleared by Sharpless. Looking for McDonald. McDonald, one against them all. It still gets, he's, she's able to drive it into the Averworth end. She's tripped, kicked out. What was she even thinking kicking that ball out? She had nobody by her. 
just about to say the same thing. There was five Outerworth players supporting. Plenty of time as McDonald was on the ground. Kicks out of bounds. That could be a good break for North Catholic. Trying to get a chance here. Trying to get something going. Not the greatest second half so far for the Trojans. Sharpless gets it at the 20. Regroups a bit. Creates some space for herself at the, at the 30. Kicks it deep. No one there. Zimmerman gets it. And she'll leave it. Or it's kicked out to about across the 30. Nice play there by Mahan to get that one. Skip that one across the 50. And now North Catholic gets it back in Avalon territory. And Sweeney driving the play there in the defensive end. It goes back, now kicked up to Sweeney. Sweeney being nicely defended by Lauren Mealy. It does get back to El McKenzie, who kicks that one to the opposing 35-yard line. And now Mahan is over there. Play on the sideline. Rivetti there in tight defense. Rivetti knocked down. She's still driving the play. There's a whistle. And she, she knocked down Rivetti on the play. Coach Sharpless wants more than just a foul as he's hot on the far sideline. He wants a card. And the officials are still talking about it. They won't get a card. Coach Sharpless is pacing. He's so upset. If he had a caller right now, he'd be jumping out of it. And there's a whistle on him. And there's a foul. If Coach Sharpless... Is it a warning? Or well, did they, they raise a card? Not a card. It's just a warning. So it's I guess if he gets another one, he's ejected, I believe. And Coach Sharpless has really been a tremendously large factor in North Catholic's success this year. Coaching his daughter, Simone Sharpless. And... It's been a lot of coaches that have come and gone here the last couple of years. He's a third head coach here in the last three years, Ryan. But this program has maintained its success um, throughout, so that just speaks to the su success as well and the skill of the girls that are in it. And that's McDonald who tried to further that one. Didn't quite work. Creeping down 25 minutes remaining in this one. That one goes off of, look like Riley Wacon, and right back where it came from, and Avworth will get another kick. From their own net. Harstman gets it. It went directly to her. Whistle blows. I don't know what he, the hand, ref saw there. Maybe. Maybe, but on Carstman, it's going to go back to Avonworth. From their own 30, Avonworth breaks it out. Nice pressure there by Laura McDonald, forcing a decision to be made. Now they force a turnover. That one's kicked up. North Catholic still has it. 
Simone Sharpless now going cross side. Lauren McDonald was not there. Now Avworth has it. Now it's taken away. Great defense by Carla Rivetti, who's been tremendous all night. Really has been impressive. Reagan Young is in the game right now for North Catholic 2, number 2. The closest North Catholic player to, your, to us right now. And now that's going to be centered in front, but it's behind the net. And the goal post. North Catholic will get it with 23 Let's minutes. Let's watch the offense in these last to go. five minutes. Both teams settled down. Oh, neither team wanted to force anything, try to make it a mistake. It could cost them. Verostic chips that one. It goes right to Avonworth. Or goes off the of Valley Deglo, and it's going to go out at about the 15 yard line. Caroline Sweeney is going to go down to take that throw. And it's going to go back the other way. Throw deep, defended nicely there by Avworth. And now a race for the ball. Babuski is not going to get there early enough to be able to keep that one from being a goaltender kick for Riley Coomer. Coomer kicks that one over the head of Reagan Young. And that was kicked across there by Petrina. Still going on the play. They're going close to the net, and it just goes wide. Great defensive kick. play there. Lauren Neely. By Lauren Neely. Great closing speed. Prevent. Sweeney? Was that Sweeney? I think it was Babuski. Babuski from being able to get that shot off. I don't know how you're seeing these numbers from way up here. 2020 vision, Ryan. I have, I have good vision, too. It's without glasses, too. You, you wear contacts? No. Oh. How about that? I, the eye doctors aren't getting anything off of us. Here to the 30. Kicked across by Lauren McDonald. I can see North Catholic's in response. <laughs> it's yellow. Just white jerseys. It's a white, white jerseys. White jerseys. And like it's just red outline, it's not red numbers. And Carly ready there in defense. Uh, Mahan is chasing that one. Sees that one all the way out. It's still gonna be Avonworth possession. I said Sweeney was threw it in earlier, that was not Sweeney. It's a member of the Avonworth midfield. And working the sideline there and kicking it in front. Riley Coomer bats that Coomer one out. Being able to punch that one out of harm's way. Fiona Mahan. It's a smart play. Uh, rather than trying to go up and catch that and risk it dropping right down by your feet. For a tap in, you're able to make sure it gets out by punching it. Karsman chips that one to the 45. Kept in North Catholic territory for the moment, but now no longer. Down to the play is Simone Sharpless behind the play. The speed of Lauren McDonald tries to win the race. Zeroman scoops that one up. And Simone Sharpless is still down. Second time. It's a clock stops. And they're With 19 minutes and 38 seconds left. In the second half tied up 1-1 one, one here. Alex, what have you seen in this half? I mean, it seems like both teams, uh, Avonworth early is trying to get the, trying to get that tying goal, trying to get the equalizer. 
But now that both now it's tied up, it seems like neither team wants to make a mistake. Yep. Uh, neither team very safe. To, very yep, safe uh, plays. A lot more conservative plays. Neither team trying to force it, which has led to, I think, less offensive chances than in the first half. North Catholic, I, I, I don't know if you can name one chance they've had. I don't, know the, I don't think they've, they've had, had a shot, a shot this goal. half. Alvarez has had a lot of chances, though. And to be frank, I think it's, I think it's a lack of urgency for most of this half by North Catholic, and that's just me being honest. I really do think that it's been a lack of urgency. They have not had a lot of good forceful plays up the middle. They have not ran with the speed they did and the intensity they did in the first half. They they won a lot of battles for the, for the ball in the first half. They, they did. Really have won any. Win the lose uh this lose half. battles. Pardon me? Win the <laughs> See, they, they have to win battles the rest of this game. Is that what you're trying to say? There we go. Trying to say it in soccer terms. I almost said puck battles. Puck battles. Huh? Speaking of puck battles, a week from today we'll be broadcasting on the North Catholic Sports Network. And look at the nice play there by North Catholic Force a turnover. That's McDonald trying, trying to get an opening, trying to get this shot through. They're really all good over defense her. there by Avonworth. Laura Mila will get this up at the 40 now. Mila has it taken away from her, and it's kicked out by Mahan. Now Babuski. Nice D there by McKenzie. A great play by Deglo. It's going to go right to Petrina, though. Kicked over towards Mahan. It's going to go out. But, and North Catholic will get a throw in here. But a week from today on the North Catholic Sports Network, we'll be broadcasting the North Catholic hockey team playing, is that West Allegheny next week? West Allegheny, yeah. West Allegheny f live from the Muse Sports Complex at oh, 920 puck drop. And we're looking forward to that matchup. As they had a win against Chartiers Valley last night, 5-1. to one. Ryan sitting to my right tonight was... Tremendous last night. One goal, two assists. Leads the team in points. Back to soccer here. Down here at the 35. On North Catholic side, Avworth will get a chance to throw it in. Well, it's gotta, it's gotta start winning some battles. They gotta start winning some races to the ball as well. Avworth has just been a lot quicker in this half. Back at the top of the 25, brought down, kicked out by Deglo. Luther at the top. North Catholic seemed to be waiting for the chance, whereas Avonworth is creating to him. get that. They're looking to get that goal. North Catholic, at this point, more seems like they're just trying to prevent a goal rather than score one. Yeah. And Maha in there trying to get through the entire defense there in the middle of the field. That didn't work. Now you got a chance. Set up your offense. And the North Catholic girls volleyball team beat Thomas Jefferson in the third set. A straight sweep as it's been so often for North Catholic this year's Avonworth will get the ball back. But they haven't lost a set in section still even through the playoffs. And they'll be playing from RMU this Saturday at 3 o'clock in the championship game as they look to win the Whitfield Championship yet again under Coach Fetter with, and the nine seniors they have this year. As they, They've been looking dominant. They haven't lost a set yet. Yep, really, really impressive. As they'll be playing South Fayette on Saturday from RMU at 3 o'clock and the girls... 3A Volleyball Championship matchup. And on the far side, nice play there on the battle win by Avworth. Cooper's going to have to come out of her net. She doesn't even have to. She doesn't even have to touch it. It goes yeah, right okay. out. Smart play. 16 minutes and 15 seconds remaining. I'm getting a little worried here, Ryan. I'm getting a little worried. I, I, North has to get some opportunities here. It's going to come down to the wire. It's it's. Both teams fighting for their seasons. Obviously, both teams have the chance to, to go, go to states. states. Yep. But whoever loses this game is going to have to win a consolation game 
to determine who's going to go to states. And now on that far side, carried by McDonald, still has it, and the goal line is shot on goal. That's one of the first this half for North Catholic, and it's stopped by goaltender Zimmerman. McDonald was being shadowed by three defenders there. She's still able to get that shot through. Simone Sharpless back out on the field for North Catholic. Great to see. I think it was just probably just minor cramps. And she's pushing through it here. The lone goal scorer for North Catholic. Yep. Hey, both teams star players. The youngest, play, youngest uh, best players on each team. Uh, Really did well. If you look at the older players, you look at Mina Syme, who's not playing tonight for Avonworth, and Laura McDonald, obviously, the senior for North Catholic, leading goal scorer for North Catholic this year. And Rhode Island commit. This will be thrown in here. By senior L. McKenzie. Another crucial part of the leadership group on North Catholic this year. Turnover, but it's going to, it will go out. Oh, how about that play? Kicks it the opposite direction, so it's a throw in and not a goalie kick. Smart, they smart tried to play. Uh, Adelworth tried to do that earlier as well, and it was a goal kick. That was Babuski with the smart play. That one's kicked on goal. Stopped by Riley Coomer. And kicked out by Riley. Across the 50 with that kick. Lily Carsman stepping up on that play. Now it's kicked Again, further. Like, North Catholic seems to like not Schlegel. be as quick to the ball as they were in the first half. And so yep. That right there would have been won every time. They look slow. That one's kicked deep. But Boopski breaks the defense. Chipped over. And, and just it just wide. goes wide. It looks like that was the goal that was going to put Avonworth passed North Catholic and gives them a 2-1 lead. And it bounces just right on the post. It's a great play by Babuski to chip that over goaltender Coomer as she was coming off the challenge. And it just squeaks by Avonworth, though, creeping closer to getting that tie-breaking goal. That one hits off the ref. Lord Veely plays that one ahead. North Catholic got to create a chance here. Maybe try to get an all man break. Verostic over to McDonald. Now they're going to have to set up from there. McDonald kicks it across, looking for Sharpless, headed away. Verostic responds. Verostic has been excellent tonight. The sophomore midfielder for North Catholic. And now this is Mealy. Mealy, a nice move. Gets it to Sharpless. Sharpless across. Oh, that might work. McDonald, oh, and Zimmerman Great gets there. Great Zimmerman to step up in a beautiful the pass. passing there. Manuel wow. Catholic. You know you Couple go to one twos, give and go there. Yeah, excellent. And you know when you go to a amusement park ride and you get on like one of those rides and they say if you have this if you have high blood pressure or like if you have heart problems you might not want to ride this ride. I feel like this for the rest of this game. If, if if you have blood pressure problems, I would bring your blood pressure machine to track the rest of this one. Paul socks, anything you got. This is going to be a wild finish. Yeah, during another rock, I didn't say something about like a defibrillator. A defi uh, uh, bring that too. Bring that too. Who knows what's going to happen here as in the next 12 minutes. As we're under 12 minutes to go here in regulation. Now we have to start saying regulation. This could go into overtime. Luther Kicks that one. And it would be fitting to go in overtime between these two schools. It would. It would. And it's out at about the 48-yard line. North Catholic will throw this one in from there. This is Morgan Schlegel. Schlegel, great throw. McDonald kicked that one in front. Riley Wacone has checked in for North Catholic as well. Laura Mealy at the 40, kicks it over to Reagan Young, who's also in the game for North Catholic. Another non-starter. Reagan Young pressuring on this play, but it is kicked out by Avonworth to the 50, returned by Mealy to the 40. Luther kicks it far side 
and carried by Palladino. Palladino's kick across, misses both North Catholic and Avonworth players, and it's going to roll out. Hey, they're going to call that Avonworth ball. I don't think that touched a North Catholic player. Nevertheless, this will be thrown in. Kicked across now. Mealy stands tall. Still loose there. Kick blocked. Oh my and God. Now a shot score. Caroline Sweeney. The ball hit off the hand of North Catholic defender. I thought they were going to call a handball. They did not. And it dropped down. Albert took advantage as Sweeney puts it by Coomer. 2-1 Avonworth, 10 minutes remaining. Caroline Sweeney, the tie-breaking goal, and it just felt like Avonworth was creeping closer there, getting chances. And they're able to get the tie-breaking goal with 10 minutes and 14 seconds left. North Catholic trying to get a push here. It's going to come through their senior leader, Lauren McDonald, if they're able to get a tie-breaking goal. Avonworth's bench, Avonworth student section, their fans are completely into this one. And North Catholic is left stunned. And they're going to have to play really, really hard these next 10 minutes as we're now under 10 minutes to go. That one's kicked back by Deglo to Coomer. Coomer kicks it out. Up bounds. This will be a throw in. On the far sideline, Morgan Schlegel kicks it out. Uh, North Catholic needs a big boost here in these next nine minutes and 20 seconds. A big opportunity here. That's going to go towards net. Coomer stops it. Off her hands and out of bounds. Nice save by Riley Coomer. And that's thrown in. And the winner of this game will place, face Mount Pleasant in the championship. The two seed Mount Pleasant, who defeated South Park 1 0 in the semifinals to advance to their first Whippeo final. And that matchup will happen on Friday, Friday evening. Saturday. Saturday evening. Saturday evening. Morning. Saturday morning, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and a header there by Riley Rocone. And now that's gonna go up to McDonald. McDonald is, is gonna get there first. Stops, oh, it's taken away. Great defensive play. By Everworth, under eight minutes to go. Carsman off her foot and Everworth. Sweeney now. Round of 7.45 left. Babuski kicks that one deep in North Catholic territory. Riley Cooper comes out to play it. And kicks it deep. Let's go to get the energy back. Still a lot of time. Seven minutes is plenty of time. You got to quit forcing things. Be patient with the ball. Sharpless. Andy there. Now that's going to be kicked up nicely. By start pressing. Verostic. Need to move. You have to be more aggressive. Oh my gosh. 
Looking for a handball, that didn't ball get like it. like it fell into the lap of a, was that Kathleen Verostic? Right in the middle of the field. Might have been Deglo. Verostic, another great play there. And now Carsman gets it over to Sharpless. Sharpless. Kick that one off of Catherine Petrina and out. Thrown in by Sharpless. Lily Carsman looking for Reagan Young. It doesn't get to her. 6.20 to go. Substitution made as Sweeney checks out. Again, the winner of this one will face Mount Pleasant in the championship Saturday at Highmark Stadium. As Mount Pleasant defeated South Park one to nothing. Carsman's kick, looking for McDonald, played out by Avonworth, but the North Catholic's gonna have a throw in at about the 20 yard line. Yep, sent North and Catholic's gonna start sending everybody up as Avonworth, they're gonna pack the box. Racone had it there on the throw in and Abworth got it. And that one rolls out off of Morgan Schlegel. Gianna Babuski leaves it for her teammate to throw in and throws it right to Babuski. Goes over to Verostic. Verostic now pressures. That's kicked out now. And Racon plays over to Mealy. Mealy has somebody bearing down on her. That's Sweeney who checked back in. And now it goes towards Zimmerman. McDonald knocks down the defender. A little frustration there. there no, nothing to call there, though. As we creep down, four and a half minutes left. Avonworth up two to one. Schlegel made a two goal comeback in this one. It was down one nothing at halftime. A lot of pop ups here for North Catholic. Can't get any, not get anything deep. Nice D on the play there by Riley Racone. Got that one away from Gianna Babuski. Now thrown into Babuski. And that is still Avonworth ball. Thrown towards Babuski. Somehow. Knocked off the ball. Out that one. Mealy knocked her off the ball. It goes up to the 35 where it's played further and kept in by Avonworth. Good passing there until I said that, and it goes out. As we're now down to three, less than three minutes and 15 seconds to go in regulation. North Catholic has it at the 30 where it's thrown in, whistle blows. Injury timeout for Avonworth. And this gives North Catholic an opportunity to talk about what they're gonna do in the last three minutes as we're down to 2.59 to go on the clock. Well, you can't control what happened in this half. You just have to forget about it. Focus on these last three minutes because these three minutes control whether you advance to the championship or not. Gotta come up with a good plan. And you got to do it through your best player, Lauren McDonald. But they might, yep. Avonworth, as they've done all game, they're going to try to gang up whenever Lauren McDonald has the ball. So maybe that comes up with a play to dish it off to Simone Sharpless. Uh, over the middle, try to get her shot from the outside. As you know, she can shoot from anywhere. You just have to get something on net. you got Tess Zimmerman. She has not been tested in this half. Only one shot on goal for North Catholic. You gotta start pressing. Everyone's gonna start going up field. They're gonna, you're pr probably gonna need to keep one defender back. Allenworth is gonna send everybody back to play defense. You gotta maybe get a goal from the outside and maybe get a rebound. 
Uh, just, a, just a fluky bounce. You have three minutes remaining. Two to one. Fighting for your season, of course. The loser of this game does play in the consolation game uh, against South Park. And obviously the winner of that will go to States. But this will be North Catholic's first loss if they do go on to lose this one. First section loss this year. So they were 12-0 in conference. Defeating Adworth twice. 3-0 and 2-0. But you knew this one would be a battle. And it has been. It has been. Battle on the far sideline. Fort Avonworth wins. It goes off of North Catholic and out of bounds. This is Palladino on the throw in. Palladino right in the middle. North Catholic trying to get it out. Verostic does. Lauren McDonald will not get that one as that's headed back. Battled four here at the 50. Looking for that one was Verostic. Verostic gets good body positioning. Kicks it up right to McDonald. Everyone up North Catholic. This is your chance. Two it, minutes left. You get a throw in. Everybody's got to go up. At the 10 yard line now. No time to waste. Two minutes remaining. Throw it in. Looking for McDonald. It's still giving North Catholic ball. They got a minute, minute 53 less and counting less to go. That's Rocco. Trying to get across. Throws it in. It's a good throw in. Oh, it just misses for Rostick. Now here at the top. Great defense. And kicked out. Out of bounds at the 40. Schlegel has an arm. Throws it in. Gets past the 20. Less than a minute 30 to go. Luther wins that battle. Kicks it out at about the 15. Throw it in again. And, and that was that, that, very smart play there. That's a really smart play. Now they're going to take their time. It's a creep down. Oh, the clock does not did not run. The clock did stop. A couple seconds did go off before they finally stopped it. That one's kicked to the 35, knocked down by Mealy, kicked over to McDonald. McDonald goes by her, McDonald still has it there, McDonald gets a foot on it. You know what, you gotta you got send more people up. It goes right to Zimmerman, who holds it. 45 seconds remain. At this point, who cares, I mean, once you get below two minutes, who cares if they score, and you're not gonna score two in two minutes. You guys gotta send everybody up. And cleared. Speed here. Right to 30 Coomer. 30 seconds. Coomer's got a let off a cannon here. Got to get to the ball. Rocone. 20 seconds. Verosta can't get North that Catholic. one to go. Mealy now. Mealy's going to have to get this one down the field. It goes out of bounds. And the Avonworth Antelopes are going back to the Whitfield Championship. It was a hard fought battle, just as everybody knew it would be. Trojans had their number of the regular season, defeating them three nothing and two nothing. But now they came into this one, wanting revenge for the two losses in the regular season. They're now one nothing at halftime. North Catholic with the one nothing lead at halftime off of a goal by Simone Sharpless on a free kick. Avonworth tied it up with a free kick by Fiona Mahan. And Caroline Sweeney with the game winner. It's tough to beat a good team three times, Ryan. It is. You've told me that all week. It and really is. this is not is. the end of the road for the Trojans as they do have a consolation game against South Park. And the winner of that game will go to States. To States. And that game will happen on Thursday. 
North Cali, nothing to hang your heads about. Avonworth, they battle in this one. They're a good team. They will head back to try to defend their title. And for North Catholic, as you said, this this is not the end. You can see Atworth again in the state playoffs. You could. You really could. And North Catholic is going to have to battle in that game against South Park. But they can win that game, and they can move on to the state, the state playoffs. I mean, this is a... North Catholic team. And this one really stings, though, because this they have not lost a game in conference this year. Their only loss was to Fox Chapel, and that happened on the 4th of September. We're now here in the 1st of November, and it's been that long since they've had their last loss. And it couldn't have come to a opponent that it would have hurt more to than yeah. Avonworth. Definitely, but out of North they battled tonight. They played a great second half after a rocky first half. North Catholic definitely had the edge in the first half, but out of came out flying in the second half, got an early goal uh, to really get the momentum from there. They didn't look back. They they pretty much dominated the second half. North Catholic was only one or two shots in the second half, but out of had plenty of chances, and it came off of a goal by Caroline Sweeney in the box that put the Antelopes past the Trojanettes. Two to one. And that does it for our Whippy Old semifinal coverage. For myself, Alex Brown, alongside Ryan Berry, our phenomenal crew that we have tonight, Patrick Sharp, Alex Jackson, and the best producer in the business, executive producer, Mr. Jonathan Hoffman, up here in the booth with us. And we appreciate you for watching as we leave you with the score. North Catholic one, Avonworth two.